Hello, good evening, and welcome to Inside the Game. You thought we won't have any, any tonight, right? Uh, no, every Tuesday we're inside the game, right? Um, let me say good evening once again, and thank you guys so much for being with us on Inside the Game, right here on Tobago Sports Live and Tobago Updates. I'm in studio today. I know last week I was up at the Segway Sporting Complex where we had the Bigo T10 tournaments happening, you know, and of course... My involvement there demanded that I'm, you know, I, I be at the at the venue, but I'm here today, um, and I'm very much happy to be in studio with my good friend uh, Camisia. I know she's delighted to have me in studio as well. Of course, of course I am. <laughs> yeah, so, a pleasant so, good, so good night good to, to you. <laughs> yes. Pleasant good night, and for all those watching, a pleasant good night to you guys. Yes, it's quite a pleasure to be here. I know we are late, and we do apologize yes, for the late start. <laughs> However, we are here. Yeah, we are outside, we are outside, we are outside, Kami. I mean, so much, so much to talk about um, where, where sport is concerned. We do have some um, interviews lined up tonight. I know we're going to be chatting with Mr. Dele Lucas from Falcon Games. Yes, And also yes, he, yes. he was the manager of the Trinidad and team. Uh, we're going to talk about Kaifta Games. We're going to show you some videos as well, some exciting videos from the Kaifta yes. Games. And we're going to be hearing from um, Assemblyman Mr. Joel Samson. Um, I'm hearing that he has something called past, events, yes. past five at the Kingdom <laughs> Monocord um, hard court this coming weekend. So, I mean, what, what have you been up to in, in the past week? Our uh, past in? week has been quite a hassle. Of course, <laughs> you know, we had those Easter activities. Yes. Um, of course, the, the viewing public would have seen me and Tobago of this hosting for Buku. <laughs> what was the experience? What was the experience? It was, it was quite an experience. It was um, a bit of a first for that type of event. Right. But it was you, quite you, enjoyable. You, you had a goat or horse in the race? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. But it was quite mm -hmm. quite a, a, a wonderful experience. Right. I definitely will have no problem doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, besides that, you know, school would have reopened. Mm -hmm. Uh, quite a hustle and bustle that way and yeah. then of course there are a lot of upcoming events mm -hmm. so you, of course the preparation for those mm -hmm. events yeah yeah so i said the well, i mean the events um the the, the go tracing down there at mm -hmm. Buku. um we had something at monk pleasant as well yeah i think we had a short a short day at monk pleasant not the traditional monk pleasant um sport and family day but um, obviously, you know that um, the country is slowly but surely kind of reopening really open, yeah. where sport is concerned. But I saw um, Buku had a really good turnout. I mean, nice what was the turnout. atmosphere down there? Really but, nice turnout. Mm -hmm. Listen, the atmosphere down there was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. As I kept saying on air, if that is a taste, I don't want it. Listen, <laughs> I can't wait to see the real yeah, thing. Yeah, the, the, the definitely, <laughs> definitely. Because, yeah. I mean... You could have seen that persons were so excited to actually get back out there. Yeah. From the costumes, from the parade, straight into the actual mm -hmm. main activities, the racing of our almost at horse, yeah. the racing of the goats, mm -hmm. the crab race, listen, and then of course <laughs> you know the zest after. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, so it, it, it was really a good, a good, a good sight, and of course kudos to the, the event planners. Mm -hmm. um, I think to be Goldens wanted that. Visitors of course, wanted of the course. event. Um, People come to Tobago every Easter from Trinidad, mm -hmm. and I, I often say charity begins at home and ends abroad. Of course. And um, sometimes when we don't have our international tourists, we need the domestic tourism to, to, keep, to, us to keep us afloat. Uh, of course. And um, I couldn't see us going ahead knowing that the place would have been reopened without having um, such, an such, such an event. And yes. I'm happy that they would have had it, and it came off um, you know, successfully. Quite the the, the goat racers who have been clamoring for for some form of activity even during the pandemic mm -hmm. they, they got out there and they would have performed and um you know the the, the public turn up and um, i'm sure you would have seen um tourists, a lot of, uh, of course, persons of course. who look like tourists uh, um well, you would have noticed in the crab race mm -hmm. there were a lot of them we had yeah. french guyana we, we had a lot of different yes. places being represented in that crab race yeah. the tourists were there mm -hmm. um i think an interview was done on the mm -hmm. beach i don't don't know if we got to play that but um, Ray took a walk on the yes. beach 
And there were a lot of persons there just enjoying soaking up the sun. Of course, they, they said that, you know, they would have been coming over after just to get a, a, a taste. A taste, a, a taste. taste of Bukhan. <laughs> a taste, a taste of Bukhan. Yes, and, and just as you to mentioned, the vibes. As you mentioned, it was more than a taste. Yeah, you know, definitely, and, uh, definitely. That's, that's amazing. So kudos once again to the, to the organizers. And it, it's something that I'm looking forward to going, going forward now. Uh, because I think that most persons are, are now quote unquote living with the the, the, the um the, the COVID nineteen mm -hmm. um, virus. Yeah. And um I look forward to the other events that um I consider sport um, sport tourism events. Mm -hmm. I remember we, we hosted um for some years uh the international beach soccer. Yes. I, that's something I, I, I love. Oh, I, yes, love. I love. So that. I, I share that I yes. share those sentiments. Yes, yes I you love know, so even even the, the rugby Kaive the Kaive um sevens. Uh, that that used to be a stable here in Tobago as well. Yes. Uh, the Masters football. And so as we go forward, I mean, I hope we, we, we got a taste. We will get a taste of all those all those events and exciting times ahead where sport is concerned in Tobago. As I said, we had a pack weekend, a pack week of sporting activities. Of we had cricket on the 19, on the 19 zonals um, where we had we had character games the last weekend as well. On a, on a 20 football happening as well. Mm -hmm. uh, even today we had the Queen's Baton. Um, being passed. Touching on yeah. into being yes, well. so, yes, yes. So much, so much to dissect. Um, yes, as I said, we have uh, two interviews coming up. Um, of course, we're going to chat with Mr. Lucas first. Of um, course. To get an insight of what happened across the in, in, in Jamaica. And once again, the Jamaicans dominant. Uh, Terminated. I, 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 <laughs> Terminated. I asked you offset. I mean, when, when the Caribbean when the Caribbean goes to the to the, to the, to the, um, the Caribbean games, mm -hmm. we go there to try to top out the Jamaicans. But what are, what are the Jamaicans they competing on who they're competing, competing against? against <laughs> you know? 92 yes. medals. My goodness, 92. Compared to the second place, yeah. I mean, we did come second yeah. place, but 23 yeah. compared to that 92. We have some, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have some stepping up to do. Yeah. That was outstanding, of course, on their part. Yeah. And of course, you would have heard the, the records being broken, and, which yeah. goes to say that they're really hitting it hard. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, Definitely hear from Mr. Lucas. Yes. Um, you know, what we could have probably done better if he, if he feels that we would have done the best that we could have um, mm -hmm. done in, 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 in Jamaica. Uh, I mean, 23 medals from the Trinidad Tobago team, um, considering, you know, in terms of um, the COVID 19 virus and the pandemic and the lockdown in this country, a number of our, of our athletes who I believe. Um, you know, wanted to participate, they weren't vaccinated, so they couldn't go across there. Of course. You know, so we're going to hear from Mr. Lucas about that, and of course, Falcon Games as well. We're going to take a break, and come right back. Remember, we are inside the game, informative, interactive, and entertaining. Let's go! Nicholson Richards, Come to Tobago, Lead Sports. I'm your boy Marcus Daniel. Thank you. Trinidad and Looms as remains. When the public is made, nobody lives here. Oil and gas exploration continues to affect the livelihood. Speyside Marine in Industry. Tobago fishermen when will the see on Francis be fully functional? Of the 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. window so at the island like the golden water rise in Tobago.
Welcome back, welcome back to Inside the Game, where we get interactive and, of course, we are also entertaining. And, of course, just before the break, I spoke that we, got, we would have had, uh, well, we have an interview coming up with Mr. Lucas. But, of course, before we get to, get to Mr. Lucas and, and get his views about the character games, we have some nice clips lined up for you guys um, showing our performances out there in Jamaica. the Bahamas. Shaniqua Bascom, the 2019 under 17 200 champion here at Caripta. Set. Off they go. Brilliant start for Smith off Guyana. Tia Clayton is running well. Tina Clayton has work to do. Tia and Tina Clayton. Tina Clayton, the world under 20 champion, wins the Caripta title. Championship record for Tina Clayton, 11.22. Tia Clayton, 11.30. To take silver, Shaniqua Bascom of Trinidad and Tobago gets bronze at 11.57, just ahead of the Guyanese, Kelisa Smith, 11.58. I've been dying all day to hear from Hodge, that is uh, Adeja Hodge of the British Virgin Islands. Oh, uh, that was a really <laughs> quick race though. I mean, I mean Jamaicans, I mean, they, they, they showed off. Um, Museum. Definitely, definitely. But let's talk about our girl from Chandler yeah, well, yeah. Tobago, Miss Bascom. <laughs> and then, you know, in the, in the build-up to, to the character games, um, you would have seen her um, her times mm -hmm. in the different meets that the entries would have actually um, put on. And you expected her to do good up there. And it was a good race. I mean, to, to finish after the Jamaicans, I think it's an honorable <laughs> end, ending to that race. <laughs> I mean, those girls are powerful. And the future looks bright for Jamaica and, of course, a young Bascom. Of course, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> let, me, let me say good, good evening once again to Mr. Lucas. And of course, let me apologize for, for keeping you out um, so late. I know that you are a very busy man and you will have had a busy schedule. But good night and welcome to the to Big Update Inside the Game. Pleasant good night to each and every one. Bigo and the rest of the world. Hey, fantastic. I see, I see we are matching tonight. Oh, yes. Yeah, I knew, I knew you were coming with the, the Pima Jesus. Says me, I'm missing out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mr. Mr. Lucas, um, I mean, let, let's, let's start off with, with the, the, the Falcon games before we get to the, the, the character games. Um, we didn't get a chance to, to discuss, um, you know, when you were here last time, um, speaking about the, the Falcon games. I mean, how did that go for you guys? Um, given the challenges we had, I think it, it went pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. Most most persons were in fact satisfied. Mm -hmm. um, we finished before two p.m., <laughs> which allowed many of the participants to get to Stobie. So, <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. Yeah. Mm. So we, we had we had teams only from Trinidad and Tobago yes, participating, yeah. mm -hmm. and yeah. I know normally you will invite um, athletes from outside. Normally, Trinidad, yeah. Normally we have athletes coming in. As sometimes those who are going off the character would have come, participate, right. stayed here, mm -hmm. and then travel. This year we didn't have a charter. I mean, that's a pandemic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a pandemic. I mean, um, if you can remember any standout athletes from, from, from that um, event? From Falcon Games? Yeah. I didn't see much of it. You didn't see much of it because you know you're always working hard. You're working hard. So, so, so <laughs> I know before now, we would have had a challenge with the Dry Talk Stadium and you would have had the Falcon Games in Trinidad. Um, can to be going now expect that the Falcon Games we will return to the Dry Talk Stadium? Well, it, it has, has returned right. because 2019 we had it here. Yeah. And, um, I think all, all track and field meets in, from Tobago will take place in Tobago. In Tobago. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And what, what's, what's, next, what's next for, Fal for Falcon Games? For Falcon, the Falcon Athletic Club? Mm, participating in the um, Zenit Relays on the weekend of the 14th, 15th of May, mm -hmm. yeah, which is the one of two meets that they're going to have before the next regional um, international meet, which is the Pan Am Juniors, mm -hmm. in the first week in June in Brazil. So right. those two meets will be are the only meets on the calendar mm -hmm. leading up to that meet. What, what, what's, what's the, what's the uh, like, how old is Falcon? Falcon well, it, that was the 19th, the 19th edition. The 19th edition. At two. I see a yellow to line up. You want to talk to Mr. Lucas? Tell me this No, I'm, I'm just taking in the interview. I mean, I was there yeah. personally, and mm -hmm. I, um, of course, my club was there, and we, we thought it, 
first of all, we were just very much excited to actually get back out there. Of course, there were the meets before, but mm -hmm. the kids were actually excited to participate in something like this because they were actually receiving medals and they were actually receiving that sort of recognition mm -hmm. for their achievements. But I remember yes. the meets where they would just go up on a listing and see, all right, first, second, and third. They actually had medals that they could post and yeah, take man. pictures with. Yeah. Listen, they loved it. They loved it. <laughs> we had one guy, one young athlete, Karen Daniel. Listen, he had his trophies <laughs> lined up. Listen, yeah, yeah, they mean, had a ball. And I really wanted to commend you and, of course, your team, because I know you didn't do it alone. Yeah. I saw you working very hard in Short Park on Saturday morning. I want to commend you guys on keeping that event, bringing such smiles on the faces of the athletes and the faces of the coaches. It was fantastic. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, fantastic. And it's, it's always good to, to have the, 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 the guys with the experience um, coming out there and, and, and putting on these, these, these kind of events. Um, we are now opened again for, for sport, so I expect to see good things from the Falcon, Falcon Club. Um, we have another clip again out of Jamaica. We're going to take this and we're going to come back and talk to Mr. Lucas again. Of course. Three, Jamaica in four, Trinidad and Tobago in five, Bahamas six, Guadalupe seven, and Bermuda late eight. Bermuda in lane eight. Up they go. The Jamaicans get up well in lane number four. Bahamas in six, up to a quick start as well. Bermuda in lane eight, the Jamaican. With Kamoy Pinga down the back stretch. Jamaica in control. The Bahamas trying to go with them. But the Jamaicans are tearing away. Tear along. On the third leg, the 100 bronze medalist pulled away from the rest. It's all about Jamaica. Wow, what a race there by, by, <laughs> by the young Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm told by Mr. Lucas we had two Tobagonans involved in the Trinidad Tobago team there. Yes, uh, Jenny Degans and Alex Henry. Right. Jenny was, yeah. I mean, I mean Mr. Lucas, as manager of the Trinidad and Tobago character team, I mean, your thoughts on the overall performance of the Trinidad and Tobago team? Well, um, I, I'm satisfied with the it's performance, yeah. Um, given all the challenges we would have had leading up, the preparation, the limited amount of meets, um, even when we had the meets, we didn't have a, it's repeating, we would have right. been time finals, you know. Mm -hmm. Coming up against a, a, a powerful Jamaica team at home that has been having meets week in, week out. Mm -hmm. You know, they would have just come off um, boys and girls last week. They would have had the trials just before. So, I mean, um, the fact that we ended up with um, 23 medals, uh, two goals which we picked up on, yeah. on day one, um, and then 11 silver, yeah. um, the gold medalists had to work for the gold. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, f you felt that um, we, we could have done much better? I mean, you, you said that you're satisfied, but well, I mean... <laughs> when you consider, I, I don't have the exact figures. Mm -hmm. I haven't worked it out as right. yet, but just off the memory there would have been significant amount of personal best done by the right. athletes. Okay. And what more could you ask? That's a, yes, that's a, yeah. yes. What's, what more, you can't ask yeah. more if they did the personal best. Yeah. yeah. Right. But 97 for the Jamaicans, 23 for, uh, for Trinidad and Tobago. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to discuss the other um, nations. 70 um, maximum team, 70 other. A, a team of... Um, right. Right, so you say like, comparing the amount of athletes. 47 right. to start with. But, but I, two, <laughs> two athletes, two athletes yeah. in each event at each home. Event. So, right. so, so because my, my next question, what I, the question I wanted to ask here is how do we get close to Jamaica? Well, um, if you take Jamaica performance, and you remember Tobago when they used to have secondary school with zone, right. where they used to have two athletes in each of the event that would have caused us to win. Oh, right, yes, yes. So, yeah. we, are, we, are, right. we are a big zone. So right. Jamaica has two athletes in each of the event. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so when you, when you check the performances, um, they get to the final. <laughs> uh, 
And if you allow me to interject here, do you think that the protocols that were in place throughout the season before that had anything to do with the actual team that went over and our performance at the end of it all? You mean the, the, the limitations? The limitations, in... Definitely. Yes. The, okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because what, the one thing that I looked at is that we definitely had limitations in who could have actually go mm -hmm. to these meets yeah the um, of course the unvaccinated were unable to do so mm -hmm. then there were persons who just could not take the vaccine and they were also you know at a disadvantage and a lot of them are persons that i think would have actually yes. made this mm -hmm. team to go over so um i'm thinking you know maybe we would have done better mm -hmm. if more persons were allowed to participate yeah. yeah. Um, another thing that I was actually thinking about, um, when it comes to, Lord, I just lose my chin yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Just I just lost my chin well. <laughs> I think it was a good time to show another clip. I would tell Jamaica. I think about it. St. Nevis, Turks and Caicos, Jamaica in five, Cayman Islands in six, Martinique seven, and Trinidad and Tobago in lane eight. Away they go. Jamaica, the favorites in lane five, but a fast start. Outside of them for the Cayman Islands. Get Ricard on the back stretch for the Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago also speeding on the very outside. Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. Hunter on the third lane. Ripcoy Hunter with the baton for Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago in second position. The final change is good. Shaquille Gordon has the baton for the Jamaican. And he's tearing down the home stretch. Wow. The Jamaicans go two from two in the 4x100. Trinidad and Tobago second. And the Cayman Islands come through to take bronze. 74 Jamaica, 42, 77 Trinidad and Tobago. Wow. Cayman Islands, 43, 40. Just ahead of St. Kitts and Nevis. Wow. Another mm -hmm. amazing race there by, by yes, the Jamaicans. You know, and I asked you earlier, uh, Kamisa, right? Um, what, 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 what motivation is there for the Jamaicans? Uh, Mr. Lucas, because what? This is what, like the, uh, based on what I Googled, this is like mm -hmm. the 46th time straight consecutively that they'd have won, well, top the table in terms of character mm -hmm. medals. And I know you mentioned that they have a large contingent, mm -hmm. right? But what, what motivates them? Because is it that they, they, they challenge themselves to, to, to break records? I mean, what's the motivation for them? I, I, I mean, well, your thought on that? I guess, it got, I guess it's, um, track and field is the main, main sport. Right. It's the main sport there. Yeah. In, in Jamaica. Right. Um, they have their pride they're in their mm -hmm. school rivalry. Mm -hmm. The system is different there to our system. Um, right. We have clubs, mm -hmm. uh, schools, of course, um, when we have the inter, in, inter call. Um, but their, their system is, is just um, totally different where they would have had camps. My, my understanding yeah. is that they have camps leading up to mm -hmm. things like the Carifta and major, major meets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, weekend so, camps, they go in on a Friday right. and they come back out on a, a Sunday evening. So you think wow. that's, some, that's something that we can... I was just about to yeah, ask we can, we can <laughs> We can adopt here in Trinidad and Tobago? Well, um, sure, surely. We, mm -hmm. we, we, we sh could um, adopt it because, um, in, in my view, our next event is the Pan Am Juniors. Um, the team literally has to be shortlisted mm -hmm. um, in preparation for Pan Am Juniors in, Pan Am in Ju Brazil. Okay. Yeah, right. So that um, even the relay teams mm -hmm. have to be we have to be having them working together. When, when is when is that Pan Am? Um, the Pan Am Juniors is the first weekend in June. Right, and so the teams are the team will be selected based on. Performances um, in exist, character? Existing performances, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. including Carifta, mm -hmm. and hopefully it um, will get an extension down right. to Zenit release. Oh, so we, are we looking good in terms of Tobago athletes? Well, we had <laughs> we <have> four <laughs> on the team. We have four. Four on the team. Right. Um, one more has uh, made a standard for Panam, that is um, Lebron, who would have shown um, 63 meters, and then we had the, the next guy coming and through 63 meters also. So they have qualified for, for Panama also. And, and, and as you mentioned, Lebron, Day, Lebron of, of yesterday, of uh, Tobago and Bybrit, mm. but he is now 
um, living uh, in Jamaica and go to college there. Mm -hmm. um, how, how do you see that, that integration in terms of at least from here going to Jamaica? Well, because traditionally, we live here and we go to the U.S. Well, I can, I can tell you mm -hmm. that um, the Jamaicans are very aggressive. Uh, but, right. Very right. aggressive Scouting. in trying to mm -hmm. um, get athletes from around the region mm -hmm. to come to the schools in Jamaica. Right. Right. Um, one, just, one, however, has mm -hmm. to be careful. Well, explain, one explain has to be careful because of which are the schools mm -hmm. they take up the challenges. Because just like the, the U.S., yes, when mm -hmm. you, you take a child to go LSU mm -hmm. or Auburn or right, those right. kind of schools mm -hmm. that are, you're expected to, to perform, mm -hmm. as, as against going to a school with probably a lesser name mm -hmm. and Right. You, 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 you can perform. The attention, the attention yeah. that you should, you should get, you, you may not receive. It's the same system that you, happens in Jamaica. You may receive. Can you see, I see you anxious to, to come in. No, no, I'm not anxious. <laughs> I'm not anxious. I'm just hearing that we have another clip. Because we have a, quite a few of them. So yeah. we have another clip yeah. that we want to review. Got Dupe in one. Turks and Caicos in two. Barbados in three. Trinidad and Tobago in four. British Virgin Islands, five. Jamaica, favorites. World under 20 record holders in six, Bermuda seven, and the Bahamas in lane eight. The limiter is a turnaround time from championships. The amount of time they've had a chance to do bat and passing work together. I thought they might go with the world junior. Jamaica in lane five. Sets. Up they go. Serena Cole places out on the block for the Jamaicans. Already closes down. On Bermuda, the Jamaicans are flying with Tina McLean, the 100 champion. The world under 20 champion destroys the field on the back stretch. She will hand over to Brianna Liston. Liston running a super curve for the Jamaicans. The rest of the field out of shot. Can they execute the final change? Tia Clayton and the baton, and she is charging down the home stretch. The world record is under threat. Tia Clayton is flying, and Jamaica will break the world record. 42-59. Tia Clayton with the accurate performance. We expected it. Oh. World under 20 record, not just the champion. The world under 20 record. Yeah. 45 36 for Barbados. Brilliant silver for them. Trinidad and Tobago bronze at 46 12. Oh, wow. I mean, I mean, wow. I saw, I saw this. This made the wrongs on social media. That's and, right. Definitely. Yeah, I that's, mean, yeah. that's an outstanding run there. Outstanding. You know, I mean, the Jamaicans they must be proud of, of the athletes. I even saw um, Usain Bolt um, talking about the the performance, performance performances of the athletes. Shelly Ann Fraser Price as well. I was not going to mention her. She yes. spoke about the she performances of the athletes, and. I too, I've, I saw I saw some very good performances from from our athletes. I mean, um, I mean, t t t t tell me about this guy, um, Antoine. I, I I see a bright bright future for Mr. Antoine. Well, in the he, was on, he was on an interview this morning at uh, right. TV Six. Is something I needed to watch. Right. Um, his whole attitude towards mm -hmm. going in there, training. Um, he went in expecting to jump two fifteen. Right. That was his target. Whoa. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 I mean, he's a national basketball player as well. He yeah, plays he's basketball. just came back from a, yeah, a he camp plays, in he plays basketball. So I, I, see a, I see a really a bright future for him. Very I mean, so. what, what's next for Trinidad and Tobago? I mean, I, I'm hearing about Commonwealth Games as well coming up. Well, there's a lot of games. Yeah. Um, as I said, Panam Juniors mm -hmm. is in June. Right. The under-23 um, is in June in Matnik, Matnik, um, Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. right, that's the meet under the TTOC. Right. Right? Um, then we have in, in July, we have the World Championship in Oregon. Right. Then we also have wow. Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. After that, we have uh, NACAC, NACAC Open. Right. In so one of the things Costa Rica, and mm -hmm. then World Juniors mm -hmm. is in Colombia. Yeah, and, and, all, wow. and all the athletes can now participate, whether yes, you're vaccinated yeah. or unvaccinated. Yeah. Like that's, that, that opens definitely. up. Yeah. It, it, it definitely does. And one of the things, of course, that 
I have realized that even though we were so locked down, the world is just continuing <laughs> as normal. And then I credit part of Jamaica's performance to the fact that they were training so much. They were competing so much, even though this pandemic was here. Because um, even when, while we were locked down, locked all the way down, that you could not even go on the streets to exercise, you would have seen Jamaica actually streaming events that they would have. They would ha have their track and field events. And I think that a lot of their success comes from their consistency. We didn't have that consistency mm -hmm. here. And I, I strongly believe if we had some level of consistency, we would have mm -hmm. been somewhere closer <laughs> than, <laughs> to, than 92 to, to 23, yes, you yes. know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we have on we have another keeper. I'm think I'm hearing this is one is with, with Antoine. Heinz ranked number no, four in the world as an under twenty athlete with that fifty eight zero six. And goes up in lane seven. Should a warrior of Barbados, strong at eight hundred meters. Four hundred. Those are the types of athletes who can come to the four hurdles and handle the physical demands. That's two six eight Safia Heinz. Number four in the world now, under 20, you said, Ricardo. And uh, in this field, the number one. Oh, 400 meters. Anika Makanapo has gone faster than she has this season. Although she has Makanapo well beaten at the Carifta Trials. Makanapo turned the tables at the Jamaican High School Championships, but no Makanapo here at the Carifta Games, of course. Losing to Kelly Kelly over 400 meters last night in a big upset. But also a long season and probably a wise decision made by Makanov to sit this one out. I think Makanov will have difficult decisions to make going forward about which event she focuses on. <laughs> Safia Hines the favorite in five. Away they go. On the 20 girls, 400 meter herders final. Safia Hines of Jamaica has gone out well. Natasha Fox of Trinidad and Tobago, who has run just outside a minute this season, is also moving well down the back stretch. But it's Hines looking comfortable and easing away from the pack. Shaquille Green of Jamaica drawing closer as well. Natasha Fox having serious issues between barriers. Mm -hmm. But Safia Hines very much in control the Jamaica number one in the field. Shaquille Green closes up off the top bend. But it's Hines still with the lead. The Jamaicans are one and two. Natasha Fox, a relay medalist from three years ago, trying to hold on for an individual bronze. Safia Hines, the world number four at the under 20 level so far this season, pulls away and wins the hell of Shaquille Green. Natasha Fox gets her individual bronze medal. Point nine six. Shaquille Green at 59.77. Bang on her personal <laughs> best. Natasha. It, it was really a game of Trinidad Tobago versus Jamaica. Jamaica, of course. I mean, just, just, what, just, yeah, just watching the, 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 the coverage and the package of the Kyrie Games, um, the commentary as well, um, as manager. I mean, you, you, you took anything away from, from there to, to, to bring back to Trinidad and Tobago to help us improve what we present as uh, shock and feeling Trinidad and Tobago? You mean in terms of the package? Yeah, the, 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 just the, the coverage of the, of, the oh. games, of the games itself. Because we, I looked at the games and I felt that the coverage was on point. Have you, have you, rem, do you remember mm -hmm. the, the meets that, of those later that was held, Kaifka Games in Tobago? 2005. Right. So we had, the, we had that coverage um, before. So once it comes to yeah. those levels, right. we are second to none. I think, <laughs> I think one of the things that yeah. we normally do here is to beat up ourselves right. badly. Right? But when we, we go out, we find that mm -hmm. we are way ahead in yeah. terms of organization and this kind of thing. So for example, I got my accreditation on, right. on Monday. Mm -hmm. On Monday afternoon, right. I got my accreditation. That's a souvenir. <laughs> I could guarantee you in Trinidad and Tobago, you, it before. you will have gotten your, your accreditation no later than Friday mm -hmm. for the opening ceremony in the afternoon. Yeah, so, so the only thing is that we will, we're going to play second so on the table. Will, yes, you will but, see some finished yeah. product, but right. um, some, logistics some logistics and enjoying, okay. everything is in place. Mm -hmm.
we are second to none mm -hmm. where that is concerned. Okay. So, so, so um, as manager, everything went um, according to plan for, for you as, as a manager of the team? No, I, I, um, I had spent too much time dealing with logistics right. from accreditation mm -hmm. to, you know, um, seeing about the athletes and these things. Now. So a lot of time was spent on areas that, for me, right. it, it would be a run of the mill mm -hmm. if we're doing that in Trinidad yeah. and Tobago. So you okay. sent a um, whole nice package, nicely mm -hmm. typed information. Mm -hmm. And when I get there, you spend a whole day where you have to okay. take the information that you yes. carry right. from forms and pictures and whatever, yeah. you know. So yeah. uh, outside of what you've seen, um, we are really second to none. We do organizations are that. Yeah, so, so, so can we expect, <laughs> can we expect uh, Mr. Lucas again to be um, a manager of probably a senior team? Um, it depends on where they, 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 they <laughs> right, right now I probably must be comfortable enough with um, continuing with the, the junior teams the junior because teams. Um, in, in going out, um, I would have kind of indicated that, hey, you all are going there to have fun. Right. You all are going there to enjoy your, your games. Right. Taking away that mm -hmm. winning mentality. We going, when, they, when they say you're going there to win, you know, you right. start to talk about pressure. And uh, what we did, we had Shaquille McKay and Sh um, Bascom as the male and female captain, senior athletes. Right. That worked well. Because right. they were being able to interact with um, the first timers, getting into a final, um, being able mm -hmm. to talk with them. You know, they had plenty of tears. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Even when they got into the final, they had plenty of tears, so they were being able to talk. And I'm, I must say publicly, um, mm -hmm. the, 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 the staff, the support staff, right did a tremendous job, especially mm -hmm. medical person, mm -hmm. Vern and Bola, um, Bonas and yeah, I, the medical staff did a tremendous job. Delighted to hear that. Right? Yeah, because Very oftentimes awesome. we see the, 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 the finished product, but we, we're not sure we what's happening. behind it. Yeah, you know, you know? the coaches, um, two young, young, young athletes in the, the HEP, and of course, you know, the last event is always the Ironman yeah. event. Challenges to get them to even want to go and run. Wow. No, so um, the coaches have to be able to get them. Get, you know, yeah, yeah. We have we have another clip again. There's the lineup: Gideon of Turks and Caicos, Lynch of British Virgin Islands, Duncan Barbados, Mayors of Belize, yeah. Winder of Bahamas, Harry of Cuban, so the, the Jamaicans, Mornell of Guadeloupe, Trish Cantaraja, the 1500 champion from Trinidad and Tobago, Javan Roberts, the 1500 still race as well. Hmm. So off they go. On the 17th boys, 800 final. Price on the awesome tactical. Going on fast on the outside. When you're when you have been given a lane with another competitor and the field is this big, then you want to get out of traffic and it's in the brown who has gotten out of that traffic and uh, taken the lead ahead of the Bohemian mm -hmm. Ray Wind Winder. Brown, big and powerful, likes the lead, long strikes. So watch, watch this for our guys at this point in time. One, two, three, four, way in the middle of the pack. And that's, that's not good strategy? Right. To pick to borrow through that wind. Coming off, coming off a 155.08 run a week ago. Mayors now steps forward and goes to the front. 56.5 for the first lap. Myers pushing the pace. That he is for sure. Daniel Myers of Belize, sixth in the 1500 final. Trish Cantaraja, you always have to look out for the Trinidadian. He's dangerous. He's coming on the outside. Moving into third position now, the Trinidadian. The Jamaican aids the Brown goes to the front. Trish Cantaraja is now in second position for Trinidad and Tobago. Winter of the Bahamas is in third. Price of Jamaica goes by him. Trish Cantaraja kicks and opens up a two meter lead. The Trinidadian leads the two Jamaicans as they turn for home. Trish Cantaraja. Ains the Brown comes alongside him. Trish Cantaraja and Ains the Brown. Rashid Price comes up on his outside. Oh, this is showmanship from Ains the Brown. He calls the Trinidadian along, who does brilliantly Trish Cantaraja to hold on for silver. And Brown has to be 
be careful that some people think that might have happened. 158.08, Trish Kanjaraja, 158.45, Rashid Price in bronze medal position, 158.51, Shani Farrington of the British Virgin Islands, Sandra Smith of Bermuda, Nathan Cumberbatch, Trinidad and Tobago, Nairobi Smith Mills, Bermuda, Alan LaCroix, Guadeloupe, Nelly Amberton. On your mark. On the 20 boys, 800 final. Away they go. Nelly Amberton of St. Vincent and the Grenadines went out quickly. There's no Alan LaCroix of Guadeloupe who wants to be in lane five, so we have uh, seven athletes going in this final. Cumberbatch of Trinidad and Tobago taking the early lead, the Jamaican running wide before cutting on the inside and going to the front, Joe Bon Blake. Does this in all his races, easy through the first hundred, stays out of traffic, comes from the outside to take the lead at the 150. The early pace suggests that he's going for something special. Blake, three times under one minute, 49 or 149 or better. He's run twice under the Corifta record already. Saw Blake at the Corifta trials. Reminds me of Edwin Moses in the four hurdles. Very scientific, very methodical, very patient, very calculated. 54-4 for the half. A little bit slower than when he ran the 147-62 at the Corifta trials. The Trinidadian Nathan Cumberbatch is in second position. Nairobi Smith Mills of Bermuda in third. But the Jamaican Jovan Blake has 200 meters to run and has a massive advantage here. Can he break the long standing Corifta record of 1 minute 48.95? Blake transitions down the home stretch. Big battle. <laughs> I, was, I was actually enjoying that race, you know. I was, I was yeah, enjoying that race. Yeah. I mean, it's, I know people like to see the, the, the short, like 100 and the 200 mm -hmm. and 400, but I like the longer longer yeah. races, you know, yeah. the, just the build up of it. Yeah, the, the strategy. Yeah, the strategy. And, and you, you, we were discussing that, um, that 1005, where our from Trinidad Tobago came second there. And you were saying that he went. He went the, first, to, uh, the first yeah. 800. Yeah, it was yeah. like 800. Eh? First 800, 800, yes, 800. Yeah. Sorry, yes, he yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. He, he went out too early. Yeah. Is, is, is that something that the manager is involved in in terms of strategy or is no, just the coach? Um, the coaches, the coaches, the coaches um, yeah. will discuss that with the athletes before. Yeah, the coaches would work along with the athletes. Their personal coaches will interact right. with the team coaches. And, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know character games, character games, and these junior games are uh, like the, the nursery for the, the well. The, the World Games and, and, and Olympics and all these different things. I mean, as manager from, 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 for, for this bunch, um, you, you, have you identified anyone, you know, four years down the road or even world champs coming up? Coming up. We, we can see someone from, yeah, from well, this well, bunch well, there? Well, well, quite clearly, um, mm. there are, of, of course, athletes who right. have demonstrated. We talk about the high jumper. The high jumper, Antoine, yes. I yes. mean, um, Bascom. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a prospect. It's a prospect. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, um, yeah. So there are athletes who, and as, as, as I said, Panam Juniors is the next step. Yes. And then the Worlds. Athletes right. have already mm -hmm. qualified. Athletes so have, okay. For Worlds. Okay, so we, we should see that team name yeah. very soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Lucas as manager. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You know, and we have to be represented in every aspect. <laughs> I like that. You know, I'm. I'm yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed the, the, this, this this course of Mr. Mr. Lucas. And, um, we have two more. Say, we have two more clips. Yeah, two yeah. more clips. There's the lineup: Brianna Biggs of Jamaica, Saviana Joseph, yeah. British Virgin Islands, Daniel Nixon, Bahamas, yeah. Deandra Yo. Shaw, Jamaica, Adriana Quamina of Trinidad and Tobago, and Kaylin Johnson of the Bahama. The Trinidadian Quamina, Adriana Quamina, takes to the circle. Tall, lovely height for the event. Will get stronger as she gets older as well. Full turn this time. And she gets a legal attempt as well. Not as good as what we saw from Shaw, but she's on the board. And with this effort, whatever it comes back at, will move into second position. Comina of Trinidad and Tobago. 
started the final three in fourth position, but that 34, 36 in round four has put her into bronze medal position. Very fast in the circle there. And lets it fly the Trinidadian holding down a bronze medal position at this stage. So here is Adriana Comina of Trinidad and Tobago in the bronze medal position. Very quick in the circle again. Let's it fly once more. Has she made it more difficult for the British Virgin Islands athlete to challenge her bronze medal? Kamina of Trinidad and Tobago. Joseph of the BVI with 34-31. Kamina in that bronze medal position with 34-36. And now she goes 35-23. She extends her advantage in bronze. Attempting 2-11, which would be a new personal best, and gets it. Two athletes left in the competition. And Antoine signals big. 6 feet 11 inches tall, Hubert Lawrence. And he's gone over 2-11 to take the lead in the high jump for under 20 boys final. Very impressive, full of stature at six foot 11. Once he keeps developing, could have a major world level high jump on our hands, has the body for it. And here, ahead in Kingston. Here he is, comes in from the left hand side, turns in gets his height right on top of the bar and that's a nice clearance for the young man a giant at six foot eleven very confident coming in the Trinidad and Tobago athletes seem really well prepared for the Carifta games Antoine now Aaron Antoine first attempt at 2.14 meters Cleared second time at 208. Only bother for him. What can he do at 214? Oh, a clip. And that means the advantage is with Pottinger now. Yes, that first time clearance and a miss by the Trinidadian boy. Here he is, tall, six foot eleven basketballer. Antoine. Here's his jump. Turns in. Picks his spot on the bar. Little clip. Just a little touch, but enough to dislodge the bar. So he now has to decide, do I jump some more at this height, got two more misses to burn, or do I go to the next height? Has already produced a personal best with a 2.11 clearance. It was always expected to be these two battling for the gold medal, unless someone else in the field could have stepped up big time. Second time clearances at 2.08 and 2.14 outside of that going clear first time if this young man clears now he regains the ascendancy he looks real composed does Aaron Antoine of Trinidad and Tobago second attempt doesn't go clear Lots of ability though. Cool and confident. I am amazed by how composed he is, Hubert Lawrence. Under pressure in basketball, so maybe that carries over to track and field. Second attempt at 1, Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, not a bad effort. But the Jamaican remains in front. One attempt to come at 2.16. The Jamaican, Brandon Pottinger, has finished his job. Nothing else that he can do, but Aaron Antoine can deny him the gold medal.
if Antoine clears here, he is the gold medalist. If he doesn't, the Jamaican Pottinger has career to under 20 gold. One last jump for gold. Hush around the National Stadium. Deep concentration, slow run to the bar, gets it! Oh, that is super! Aaron Antoine breaks Jamaican hearts and wins the under-20 boys high jump gold! Third time clearance at 2.16 meters, lifetime best extending performance. He came in with 210, and look at what he's produced. Trinidad and Tobago has their second gold medal of the night. Just whoa, whoa. <laughs> what a jump there! You know, <laughs> you could just, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when I was game time in school, I used to jump them too easy, man. <laughs> man yeah, from Bangu and thing, but you know now, I, 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 I channel my energy to to cricket. The cricket. And I, and yeah, I want yeah, to yeah. ask Mr. I want to ask Mr. Because right, because this guy is also a national basketballer. Of course. How how are we gonna juggle? When I say we, to nine to be good, the entry is and the basketball federation. What's going to happen there? He will make his decision. He will make the decision. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> what decision you want to do? Powerful young man. <laughs> powerful young man. <laughs> because but he definitely has a bright future. Yes, and, and Mr. Lucas mentioned that he also made the, um, the, the standards for, yeah, for World, for world yeah. Champ. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, for World Champs. World Championship. You know, so for me... World Junior, see, sorry. World Junior. For me, yeah. seeing what I have seen here tonight, um, basketball, hard luck there. <laughs> and hard luck there. We take it, we take it, him to check out the field. But we need some, we need some medals. We need some medals. Here. Definitely. Uh, Mr. Lucas, we're looking to wrap up. Um, any final words? Well, I'm just looking forward to the bright future of the young charges, and I um, hope that you know the focus. I'll probably send you an interesting clip <laughs> from a, a right. Jamaican right. who is a good athlete, mm -hmm. but have a ton loads of subjects. I saw that you know. So I saw, I saw that clip. I right. think it's 19. 19, 19. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes, yes. So, and wow. you probably need to take a, a look at the um, TV Six interview of Aaron okay, this okay, morning. Okay, okay. Yes, those are two clips that you need. To. Yeah. So he's very focused. Also. Bright future ahead. So, so he's um, marrying athletics and of course he's academic. Yeah, as well. that's good. Yeah, so we're looking forward to the rest of the the season and um, Falcon Games mm -hmm. twenty twenty what. Next year. Yes, next year. And of course, Zenet Willis coming. Zenet Willis coming up as well. Zenet Willis coming up, and yeah. Yeah, fantastic. So nice, so nice having you coming in here. I, I, I was just enjoying the, 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 the replays that we had yes, for yes, all the persons who didn't yeah. get time yes. over this very busy I missed busy them. I missed, I missed some of them. Yes, yeah. yeah. so it was really Mr. fun. Yeah. It was really fun managing the team yes. and allowing the, you, you know, you need to give them space while you need to keep mm -hmm. the reins on mm -hmm. certain things. But I think uh, we have tremendous potential and they, they have very far to reach. Yeah, fantastic. And of course we have been chatting with Mr. <laughs> Dylan Lucas, I mean manager of the um, Trinidad and Tobago character team 2022 and of course the man in charge of Falcon Athletic Club. Um, we're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back we're going to hear from Assemblyman Joel Samson, Joel Nutsy Samson about his initiative Nutsy's Fast Five. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now get whatever you need whenever you need it anywhere in Tobago with Tapago. Your meals, medication, groceries, and shopping all delivered directly to you. No more hassle, no more stress. Get the Tapago app today on Google Play or Apple App Store. That's T-A-P-P-O-G-O -P -P and let us deliver to you. Check our website at www.tapago.app or call the experts at 494-T-O-G-O -O and 484-4746. Tapago, relax. We will get it to you. Tapago's at your service. Rest.
just easy at American stores. Up to 20% off. Outstanding discounts on selected Serta, Sealy, and Therapeutic mattress brands. Check us out today at American Stores, where we make quality living affordable. Welcome back, welcome back to Inside the Game. Right, of course, you just heard from Mr. Dilly Lucas um, talking about track and field. And of course, let me say congratulations to all our medalists out there in Jamaica. And of course, all those who would have participated, um, representing the red, white, and black. And I can say that our future looked a little bright. I know we have Olympics coming up in 2024. We have the World Champs later this year. And so many other things to look forward to where track and field is concerned. But on set now, we have... Um, a familiar face to all of us here in Tobago, um, Assemblyman Mr. Joel Nazi Samson. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening, sir. How I'm are back. you? <laughs> I'm really good. <laughs> and thank you so much for being with us here tonight. Um, you know, we're talking about Fast Five, Nazi's Fast Five happening this weekend. But before we get into that, I mean, you are now a representative for a whole electoral district, right? I mean, how has that been for you, um, being uh, jumping into the field of politics? Uh, well, the transition has been good thus far, Marcus, right. you know. Mm -hmm. You know, the support of the people within the district has made life pretty easy. Right. You know, we have a lot of activities and initiatives taking place, so it's been comfortable thus far. It's been it's comfortable. A, it's a lot of work, but it's been comfortable. <laughs> so, which one do you prefer, being uh, a plumber uh, or, a, or being a representative? Either or neither. I know. I serve, <laughs> I'm serving the people either way. Yeah, serving so, the people. Yeah. Fantastic. So, tell us about this um, initiative that you have this coming weekend. All right, well, not see Fast Five is something that has been in the pipeline for quite some time. Right. But due to the pandemic, you know, mm -hmm. we had to cancel a lot of things. Right. So as things started opening back up, mm -hmm. you know, we decided that we should launch and kickstart things. Right. Because, you know, back in the days, sports yeah. brought the community together, you yeah. know, and yeah. that spirit that was once synonymous yeah. with us. Mm -hmm. It has kind of left, so yeah. you know you could bridge that gap with sports and yes. sporting activities. And when you when you when you when you talk in and but come point, sporting community, sporting community. community. Yes. I mean, so many some of the greats. Yeah, yeah, it came out of Kina Kina Bonacol come point. So, what are the activities you have in sporting wise this weekend? Well, this weekend we have cricket and football. Well, well, I like how you mentioned cricket first. You know, <laughs> yeah. I come on and try a little thing there. So, um. For persons interested in, in this in this particular event, I mean, how can they get involved um, if they want to have a team or or let's come and view the event? Well, the event is carried for the 23rd and 24th. Right. That's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Right. Well, as you know, if they have to um, register for the cricket, right. they contact <laughs> truly, Mr. Daniel. Yes. <laughs> and for the football, it's Mr. James Thomas. Right. You know, it's not a it's a non-profit weekend. Right. It's a weekend card just to bring persons out, you know, right. as we get back to some form of normalcy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the event was carded just for that, right. you know, some right. fun so that families could come out, right. entertain themselves, you know, yeah. that sort of thing. Uh, so, um, um, in terms of time, what time are we going to start on Saturday and Sunday? Well, on Saturday, we are carded to start at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. for all the prelims for the soccer. Yeah, we're going to have football on Saturday. Yeah. And it's small goal football. Yes, yeah, small and, goal. And five aside. Four aside with one four side going four side. So I you know, know it's fast five. Fast five. <laughs> so five. fast five, five minutes. Yeah. Five aside. Right. I know well, in Kidan, I used to live in Kidan. Right? I lived there for like over fifteen years. And we used to always have a, a contention with the guys when they play small goal between the uh, the two posts for the basketball. <laughs> yeah. The basketball rings no way. So I can expect that that's gonna be the same situation on no, uh, no, on, well, on actually, we, we can have, have actual goalposts. We are going to have actual, actual goalposts. Goal okay, okay, okay. And we're okay. going to more use the netball the, side. The netball side. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. You know, okay the, the, the size of the goalposts is designed for it to be plenty action, plenty, plenty action. goal scoring, <laughs> plenty noise from the fans, you know. Right. So that's what yeah. it's designed for. Yeah. And what, what has been the response thus far in terms of teams and the, the community? Are they excited and ready for this event? Well, the response has been good so far. Mm -hmm. A lot of persons have been showing interest, calling to register. Right persons calling to come along to do vending, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's an opportunity for everyone to come out and partake in this right. event, you know. Yeah, fantastic. What does, and what does this mean for the community of Kenan Monaco Company, just having this event I mean, coming out of a pandemic? Well, this, this means a lot, Marcus, you know. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring back some form of love and some form of togetherness within the community. Mm -hmm. Because if it's one thing, 
that mm. binds a community together yes. in sports and sporting activities. Yes, man. Yes, so man. this is just a tip of the iceberg. <laughs> so when they get this, they might think, oh, we get something this weekend, we're not sure. Right. There right. are a lot of other activities in the pipeline to right. come. So we're going to have things consistently. So, you know, right. and even on the, the night of the final, we are going to announce another competition that right. will be short right. coming. So. Right. So, so, so we're going to have the football on Saturday. So that's at 2 p.m., um, five aside. Um, teams can still register, and, yeah. and you can give me um, give the, the, the public James um, pharmacist number so they can contact him if we still have space for the football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you wish to register for the football, you can contact Mr. James Thomas right. at three six eight zero five three three. Right. So, yeah. And obviously, so and from two p.m. till yeah, two uh, we, and till. We, we're not limited to the, any amount of teams. No, we're not limited. And in terms of um, participation is it limited to only Kina Monaco come points or open to Tobagonians? No, well, as you know, Marcus, first and foremost, I'm Tobagonian, <laughs> so it's for all of Tobago. Yes. If you realize most activities, most things that I've done thus far, right. I've invited the whole diaspora, yeah. so it's right. not just limited to my district alone. Right. So, you know, teams could come from on the outside and see if you could beat my boys. At home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's Saturday football, and then we're gonna have cricket on Sunday. My thing. So, so guys, if you are interested in participating in the cricket, you can contact me at 774-7326. We're going we're gonna to have the teams come together from 11 a.m. for the registration. We're going to discuss the rules, the regulations, and we're going to do a draw and all these different things. And then the game will start, uh, the games will start at 12 noon sharp. And we're going to go straight in until we have the, the, the finalists ready for the cricket. And then we're going to have the football final as well. Followed by entertainment? Yeah, we're going to have some entertainment. You're going to have some yeah, entertainment. You can't have the fans come and there's no <laughs> entertainment. There must be entertainment. So yeah. there's something to look forward to. Right. And, and, and what about what about um, family in terms of like, let's say I come with my, my children. Is there um, anything um, set aside for, 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 for the kids? Well, we'll probably try to provide a bouncy castle for the kids right. so you know they like that. That's their yes. form of entertainment. Yes. Also, we will have some activities mm -hmm. for the crowd. For the crowd as well. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. So yeah, they, man. they can have a chance to get in on some earnings as well. <laughs> because we have over 20,000 in over prizes 20, on giveaway prize. this weekend. So. Yeah. And, and do, do you have any particular sponsors you want to shout out and, and, and mention now? Well, there are a few sponsors. You know, we want to give kudos to Parks International right. Limited, Anthony's Contracting, right. Skewers. Right. Zibs who made ice cream, big up Jimmy yes, Big up Jimmy Silvestre. <laughs> and quite a few more sponsors yes, and, and, as well. And it's good so, to know? see most of the sponsors are coming from within the community as well. Yeah. Is that something that you have put, to, put in place to ensure that when you are having events in the community, you have the community itself buying yeah. into the events? Yeah, that's something we have put in place. So, you know, we always constantly reach out to the small business right. within the area for different events. Mm -hmm. So one event you might get this set of sponsors, the next event you have a right. different set. So, you know, everybody's on board. You know, and willing to contribute in any way they can. Right. And for persons who may be viewing this this inside the game now um, abroad and may not, I mean, they, they, they may be interested in the event, but they can't make it. Um, are we going to have any live stream? Mm -hmm. Live stream yes, as well. Yes, Tobago updates will be there. Tobago updates. Yeah. Yeah. So, Shout so out to big updates. So big up to big updates. Big up to big And of course, as we wrap, uh, many any final words you want to. To, to, to well, it. I just want to encourage persons to come out, you know, yeah. there's something to do over the weekend, you know, we had a bumper weekend just concluded, yes, yes. and we will continue this weekend and many other weekends to come. So come out with your family, come out, enjoy, have fun, yes. and see how the event goes, and you can always think about coming again. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much, Mr. Samson, for being with us here on Inside the Game. Remember, it's all about Nazis Fast Five this weekend at the Kingdom Monaco Hard Court. We're going to have football on Saturday. We're going to have cricket on Sunday. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the guys who have been down for two years play some cricket inside the court. It's strictly court rules. We're going to have a power play over. I know men excited about a power play over, but I have some particular rule for them Providence boys, you know, boy. This, this team called Expendables. But we're going to talk about that. So, now, Samson, thank you so much for coming too. And, of course, I'm going to see you on, on the weekend. No we're going to take a break. Come right back and wrap up with Kami and myself. Our national borders, our first step to security, but a possible access point for guns, drugs, crime. If it does not look right, do the right thing. Call Crime Stoppers anonymously. 800-8477. Report possible border crime. If you see or know about a crime, report a crime.
safely and anonymously. Call 800 tips. Help stop crime. You can play your part safely and anonymously. Report a crime. Earn a reward. Call 800 tips. Help stop crime. Be a hero. Champion. Fearless citizen. Be a crime stopper safely and anonymously. Call 800 tips. Help stop crime. Hello, Crime Stoppers. This is Crime Stoppers. Please share only your crime information. I want to report a crime, but I need to make sure it will not be traced back to me. Caller, I assure you, there's no record of this call other than the information you give us and the tip number I assign you for you to call back and check on your reward. This system has worked in 26 countries for more than 40 years. Help stop crime. Call Crime Stoppers at 800 tips today. Calls are safe and 100% anonymous. There's a taste in the air everywhere Feel the vibe cause it's something to share Smooth, rich and creamy, you'll find it right here Makes you smile, relax a while, it's fun and good chair This is Uncle Pete's. Let's go! Yeah, welcome back, welcome back. And of course, we just heard from Joel uh, Samson, uh, Assemblyman Joel Samson, talking about Nazis Fast Five. This weekend at the Kingdom Monocord Hard Courts. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I mean, I have Kami on set now, Kami. She was talking about netball. I mean, you're going to have netball after Kami. <laughs> but cricket and football first. You know, I grew up playing cricket and football, you know. And as I told you before, mm -hmm. Mr. Antoine, I could have do high jump, too, you know. But I chose cricket, no way. I chose cricket. I chose you know? cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I chose cricket. You know, and, and talking about cricket, um, Kami, um, last, last um, uh, Friday, yes, Friday? Yeah, we concluded the um, Chief Secretary's big OT10 blast. Um, it wasn't the, the ending that we were looking for because um, we would have had the final seat and right. we had to declare joint champions in um, Boko Reef Divers and Little Tobago Islanders who surprised right. everyone in getting to the final. Yes, you know, definitely, because yeah. I really thought uh, like Fort King, King George, George they, well, Watch me. They had the whole of country on their side. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a kind of, yeah, they, they, they had good support and they started off really well. Uh, yes. I think they won their first four games. Mm -hmm. um, yes, four their first four games, and they were defeated uh, in one of the in one of their games, and it would have set them back in being a team going straight to the final. And in fact, Bukwib Divers got to the final by having a better net run rate than Fort King George Gunners, and then Fort King George Gunners had to play the eliminator against against the Little Tobago Islanders, and they were whipped. Um, you know, most of the disappointment of their fans. Of course, but all in all, I think we had a, a, a decent week of, of cricket um, at the Sydney Sporting Complex. Um, the, the fans came out in their numbers. They enjoyed it. And I can see the event getting bigger, bigger and better. And I want to commend the Tobago Cricket Association, all the sponsors, and everyone who made the event um, what, it is, what it was this year. Um, I want to commend um, John Alfred a local player who got the most runs, 286. He was also the MVP. Um, a guy from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Mr. Asif Hooper, mm -hmm. he got the most wickets of 11. And what I was most pleased with, um, two or four um, younger players, they really put their hands up. Um, young Joshua York, right. and um, we had Orlando James. And they played, in fact, they, they bambered. They played with the big boys <laughs> they played and with they the big dominated boys, the right. big boys. You know, so I was really happy to see that because uh, this is what the event is all about. I mean, enhancing and showcasing the talent that we have here in Tobago while they rub shoulders with the more experienced guys like the, the Trinidadians who came across and the, the guys from St. Vincent and Grenadines. You know, so um, it has ended. It has been a tiring experience. But um, I mean, <laughs> I it's can cricket. imagine. It's I can cricket. imagine. So, so yeah, so that, that's, that, that's that. I mean, I know we had under 20 football as well. Yeah, the football happening as well. At uh, the the under-20 football, um, mm. the Tiger Towns competition right. at um, Montgomery, of course, mm -hmm. it's set to start back. Mm -hmm. Last weekend, oh, we had, had a break. A break. Okay, there was a okay. break. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the previous weekend before that, right. they had their game done right. at Montgomery, but they are set to start back 
at right. the stadium this weekend. Oh, so no longer Montgomery? Matches. No, it's no longer and in Montgomery. Inside the stadium or by the training ground? No, inside the stadium. Fantastic. I, yeah, I must give these guys yeah. that experience. Ex exactly. Give them that experience. Definitely. I like that. I like that. Yeah, so we are at the stadium. Mm -hmm. Tiger Towns competition, the under-20 tournament. Of course, you're going to see the, the, the four Tobago teams battling it out. Right. Um, of course, come out and support them. Yes, basically. yes. Come and and what are we, uh, do you have the times of the, those, those games? It's 2 and uh, 4.15. On Saturday and so, on Saturday? On Saturday. On Saturday. Oh, it's the only games are on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so if you're, not, if you're not going to be at um, Latis Fast Five, you can venture to the right to Exeter and take in the uh, boys under-20 Tiger Tanks football Tournament. Of course, of yeah. course, support the youth. I support, yeah, support, 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 support It's all about the development. Yeah. Yeah. And we also have coming up NLCL. Yes, yes. Their yeah. first um, game is set to play off on the 8th yeah. of May right here in Tobago. Mm -hmm. That's the first game here in Tobago. It's, the tournament has already started in Trinidad, but the first Tobago game is right. being played here on the 8th. Um, Roxborough, I'm, I'm hearing Roxborough, mm -hmm. this is great. Uh, complex. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we're another mm -hmm. tournament to look forward to. Another tournament to see the youth of Tobago actually coming out mm -hmm. and um, you know, showing you know, their yes. talent. I know how many Tobago teams involved in this one. I am not sure, but yeah. we will find yes. out. Yeah. But it's, as you said, it's good, it's good that we have a variety of, of, of um, competitions for the youngsters. Of so course. if it is that you missed out on participating in this, the Tiger Tongues, you can get in the, involved in this of one. Of course, definitely. You know? So I, I look forward to that. And I'm happy that they have taken it to the East as well. You know, yeah. I, I mean, I'm from Casta. I grew up in Casta, so I, I, I like. I think sometimes we can take some things across the north side because we have the nice Moriah Gong there as vacation course, ground. So hopefully we can get some events going across there. Uh, we just had the cricket in Roxburgh. Now we're gonna have the football there. Yes. We're gonna have football in Stadium. So. I was starting to come up for North Side, you know. But yeah, I was starting to come up for North Side. <laughs> so that we could have this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I agree think. with you. So I people from Lansom, we can come down tomorrow, yeah? Of Instead course. of going across to, to, and to the And it also encourages persons to yeah. so, you know, get to know your country, go across here, yeah, go yeah, there, go there. Yeah, the person, mm -hmm. the, the people in the community who make it look a boil corn, of course, popcorn, of course, you give them course. an opportunity as well. Yeah? Definitely. I'm also told that we have an over 40 game happening at Signal Hill right. on Saturday. Right. Um, yes, this yeah. is one to definitely look Hill's forward to. Hill's old boys versus Paul Aspin. My goodness. <laughs> this, I think they probably have, they should have um, the power banks on standby, you know. <laughs> this, this old boys, the old boys versus Paul Aspin. <laughs> With a lot of rock. <laughs> We will see how that goes. But, right? but, so yeah. A lot of activities happening this yes. weekend. Of course, you have your choices, your preference, yes. where you want to go, where you want to be. Of course, you could pass through a little bit here, a little bit yeah. there, a little bit there. Of yeah. course, Tobago Sports Live, um, Tobago updates. Basically. We would be at various of these um, events. events yes. And we're going to bring them to you live. Fantastic. And I saw something that I liked. Walk with a cooler. Yeah. <laughs> walk with You're your all cooler. about Eli, right? Walk with the, yes, <laughs> walk, walk with your cooler. cooler. Okay, oh, the cooler. Cooler. Yes, man. and drinks. Oh goodness. Yes. yes, and you know, it's always good. It's always good to see the guys who would have played the game before mm -hmm. play, and they, 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 they may be a bit slow, but they will show you some tricks. Of course, you know? definitely. Yeah. yeah, and this definitely. is under this is under Assemblyman Nigel Tate. Yes, yes, fantastic. Yes. So, Good man. kudos to him for that, that initiative. Yes, Bring all the older guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, and then and then this happened today, the Queen's Battle button and this this is this is in, this is a signal that we're gonna have the common the games coming up very soon mm -hmm. and you see miss Onella walker there um it would be that's the mascot i believe um our national sumo um for one well I, I, let me answer for one our national sprinter as well that's simon hackett i'm um, doing some good 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 work with um her, her club in her Lambo club. there um mm -hmm. still still the national record holder for at the, over the 800 meters distance of course. that sheldon sheldon cook there with the the um that's its flame or the, the baton in, the hand, in his hands there okay. and then we have our girls from uh, our ladies <laughs> representing our, our national women's football team that's asher james and uh, miss kamika forbes they participated in the in the baton run today um landed here in tobago i think it's going to go to barbados tomorrow so right. All, all sports happening in, in, in the country at this of time. Of course, a lot of things happening, a lot yeah. of things happening, and a lot of things coming Indeed. up. Of course, we are here to keep you informed. Yes. As Marcus usually said, in very informative. Very informative. Yes, so we Interactive are here to keep you informed. Interactive and entertaining. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, fantastic. You know, and of course, obviously, we want to thank some of our, our sponsors, um, Mr. Brian Brown, um, Stumpy's Emporium, and of course, Skewers. And, you know, we, we, we still welcome persons to get on board. Um, of course. This, 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 this thing is beamed world, around the world. Right, and we are taking Tobago sports to the world, and uh, you are sure that you will get mileage um, from this from this um, inside the game, uh, as we as I said, we are, we are streaming around the world. So, um, big up to our sponsors, um, Brian Brown, um, Stumpy's Emporium, and, and Skewers. Yes, yeah. definitely. And of course, Marcus, you know, yeah. we can't leave out the viewers. Yes. I'd just like to say thank you to all our viewers. Fantastic. Of course, we are nothing without them. Thank you for your continuous support. Mm -hmm. Continue to support us. Yeah. Inside the game. Inside, Inside the, game. the game. Can we, another wonderful program. Let me thank our guests tonight, of course, Mr. Lucas, mm -hmm. um, and of course, Mr. Uh, Samson for coming and, you know, sharing what they are doing separately. And, um, you know, continue to follow Inside the game on Tobago Updates and on Tobago Sports Live. Of course, and we will see you next time for another great show. I am Camisa Lincoln. And I'm Marcus Daniel, but you can call me Mr. Cricket. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay Have safe. a good night, guys. <laughs>